Howdy. So, take six, what does that even mean? Uh, well, for me, years ago I read a Sophie Kinzanello book and she was talking about lawyers and stuff and it clicked to me, like, you know, law firms, point one is six minutes and there's 10 six minutes in an hour. If you, if you are feeling overwhelmed and you have avoidance issues, this is how I break a lot of things. Um, you know, I'll pile up my junk mail and everything and I'll keep it in the corner and then it just becomes kind of mountainous and you just don't want to deal with it because there's just like, you know, dozens and of pieces of stuff that you have to go through and erase your name and all that good stuff. So I will have that or if you have a pile of socks that are all a match or your laundry which is just in piles or dozens or hundreds or thousands of emails that you have sitting in your inbox or tons of dishes in your thing like those are always things that might make somebody feel overwhelmed by and getting started at that can really be kind of like hard to do because then you're seeing the everything and you feel like you just it's just too much to tackle and there's too much of whatever but what I do is I take six and for me let's just say okay emails if you have a whole bunch of emails and you just need to go through them or get rid of them and it just seems like too much. Maybe you've got thousands of emails sitting there and your box is full almost and you have to deal with it. Well, you know what? Every day do six. Like your, your challenge is to get in there and eliminate six. Or you could set a timer for six minutes and go through and delete as many as you can within six minutes. And then when you're done, it's done. And you don't have to do any more. Uh, you did enough. And you've completed your task your task has been completed that is not like the task is not to do everything your task was to do six minutes your task was was to delete six emails um, so you did your test you completed your task so the overwhelmment hopefully broke a little bit if you want to do more than you can do more once you're in the vibe sometimes that really happens because once you get in there you realize that it's not it's so insurmountable uh, for like socks if you have a pile of socks or just a big bin of socks that are all on match why don't you set yourself up for success and go and decide that you're going to match up six pairs of socks so you get in there and you do that and you set it up so then in the morning when you're rushing you don't have to look for another pair of socks because you legitimately have a few socks to choose from in whichever outfits and then it's a little bit less if you feel like you want to do more, stick around and do more. You might end up doing 15, 20 of them, and then that rocks. Because, you know, the next time you might start avoiding again. Uh, that's also, you know, kind of a problem. Is that, like, once you get in it, you're getting in it, and you're in it. and But then once you pull yourself out, a lot of times it's kind of hard to get back into certain things. Especially if they're just so much. Uh, like, you know like your for real mail and the junk mail uh, so what I will do is go uh, all right I'm going to look at six pieces or I will open up six pieces I don't even have to actually review all of them I like on some days I might just go I'm just gonna open up uh, like six pieces of mail I might actually look at them and then if I look at them you know I'll sort it and then I'll put it in a pile now that's that's for another day because you know your piles to file get a little bit chunky so that just goes I'll deal with that later and then at another date what you would do is just go through the pile and go alright I'm gonna spend six minutes looking at this pile uh, you know you could do six pieces of paper which is totally fine especially if you're feeling fatigued or if your overwhelm is crazy but if you break through and do one and two and three and then you know you could just keep going just a few more then you've accomplished something you've accomplished something you've broken through you might like I said you might continue and do more you might get on a spurt sometimes you know that happens and if you're feeling you know the juice of it do it follow the momentum because momentum is a lot of things you know you could have a momentum for blah and you know self self 
overwhelm and you can go into a spiral and you can build that momentum to where it becomes like no you can't even deal with it well guess what you can slow that train down and build the momentum the other way by just taking six just do six minutes of something um if you've got a lot of dishes in your thing and you just feel like you just don't have the energy for it just wash six dishes and then you can go sit back down that's it, you know, but once you're in there, you might just kind of do a few more. Uh, you know, some days you might just don't have the energy for standing up, you know, again, with the people with fatigue. Uh, and that's understandable, but you still want to accomplish something. Six is a pretty good thing. Um, it's kind of like that, you know, just do one thing a day. Like if you read one page of a book a day, after a certain amount of time, you're going to finish a book. Obviously, some books are longer than other books. You understand what it's going. But within a year, you could read a pretty fat book uh, if you just read one page a day. But you know sometimes you might read a little bit more. Clothes, laundry. You know, who doesn't have piles of folded, unfolded laundry? You could just go and spend six minutes folding laundry or six pieces of laundry and then you could fold it and then put it away and then those are done and it's over with and you've got six done or you could just keep rolling and keep rolling and keep rolling but if you go in with the mindset of I only need to do six that's really not overwhelming one is eh, you know why you know a lot of times you can talk yourself out of it like oh why bother would I look at just this but six you're like all right i'm going it's a commitment you're committing you're committing for six six minutes six items six pairs six whatever uh but you're going in and you're doing it and it's a small minute finite time that you can if you're just feeling it, you can see you can watch the clock you could do it you could fold these clothes and you could be watching the clock you could be watching the timer. That's it. Six minutes. Uh, so yeah, take six. Six is enough to get you pumped in. Six is enough that if you get tired, it's it's a far enough point for some things. You you've broken you've broken the the scare of it. You know the intimidation factor of it. Talk about intimidation. This thing is a beast, though. Right, beast, beast, though. But yeah. Take six. If you got a lot of chores to do, just spend six minutes vacuuming. Spend six minutes cleaning, uh, you know, with gloves on and wiping down everything. Spend six minutes, uh, you know, working on scrubbing pots and pans, and that's all you need to do. Ooh, that light's kind of go crazy. Ooh, she's, and she's crazy. But yep, uh, ah, so yeah, take six. Six. And hopefully it'll help manage things in your life. Peace and love to you. Uh, good luck on your coping skills. Sending you light. Sending you love. Sending you flickering light. Wishing you light and love. Peace to you. Peace to the planet.